Well, hello, hello, hello. Moramai, good morning, and welcome back to the new basement farm. Uh, before I carry on with spring day two, uh, I realised there was something kind of vital I didn't do, which was a bit of ploughing to get the field ready. Uh, so, as you can see, I'm underway. Uh, we've got our new plough on the back. It's a coon, but I'll look at that later. And I'll time lapse this because of sheer laziness, and I shall see you in the morning. Bye bye for now. And welcome back. So, here we are. Uh, we've done the intro, so we won't go too far about it, but we're in spring, day two. Um, one thing I realised last game night, shall we say, as I was ploughing with our lovely new Goon subsoiler plough thing there, was that uh, I'd mentioned that the rain seemed to be triggering the windscreen wipers as a sort of glitch because it wasn't raining. Uh, however, since then... It started to rain, so maybe the computer knew something I didn't. Uh, right, so, moving on, we ploughed our little field down there. Uh, we've got a busy day planned. It needs some seed pudding in it if the soil temperature is high enough. Now, looking at the top of the screen, uh, 
it appears the soil temperature is 5. Uh, now, uh, let's have a quick look at our rotation planner. Now, we can tell by the field info, or we could, <laughs> but it doesn't want to tell me that now, uh, on the bottom right there, that uh, it has been fallow twice. Uh, now, here is where you start to get your multipliers in. You can see you get a 20% bonus if you put sugarcane after fallow, because it's been a double fallow doesn't really matter. Uh, now, I'm going to stick some wheat in as a first crop because uh, I'm going to grab some chickens. Now, I can go and buy some chicken food, that's great, but it would be good to have some. They have wheat or barley. Uh, both ways you get straw, which we'll be using later on for our uh, cows if we manage to get that far. So, having a look. So, now we've entered that in our planner, we know where we are wrong button everything's grand let's have a look at our planting chart day two we've got planting season for wheat and barley which is great it should take us one two three uh, three odd days to grow depending on the weather uh, and we can see on the left that our temperature is now in white which means it's okay to do now so we bought our cedar planter dude who is there, hooked up and ready to go. Uh, we brought our seeds up, so that's grand. Did I get some corn to go on those as well? I didn't. We just have... seeds and fertiliser. Uh, but that's okay. I'll stick those in our store later on when there's nothing much more to do. Uh, everyone is loaded up and ready to go. So let's go and get that started depending on how this goes it could well be that oh, let's not go too quick uh, I'll set a worker on this to start with although only to start with because hopefully I should be in a position to come back and do it so let's set them working the same way around we can lower it down, we can turn it on, and we can get going. So, first crop of our new farm in the ground, which we'll be using for chicken feed. So, let's stick our worker guy on there as we jump out and out of the way. There we go, that's going very nicely. Uh, that will be fertilising as we go, uh, which is also very helpful. It's a three-stage fertilising process here in Seasons. Oh, he's taking money already. How cheeky. Uh, the next thing I think I would like to do is go and get some corn. So first thing we'll do, I'm going to keep the lifters on there. First thing I'm going to do is go and drop the seeds that we do have. Here, hop, and here, hop, like that. Uh, is drop the seeds that we do have in our seed store. Uh, we don't need them sitting all around the place, seeds as we've got somewhere. To keep them uh, that somewhere, it's just here. You can see everything is nicely racked up, which is very helpful, but what we can't see is that there's a little uh, sort of drain to tip them in. If we listen carefully. Might be able to hear it going, but let's check and see if the, ooh, we got transport. Oh, that, tr that definitely looks good enough to do. Let's grab that. Uh, there we go, and our seed I see has disappeared. Uh, if we can just pull forward here, and hook, there we go, and our fertilizer now is safely there. Uh, we can see those on the right hand side of a screen that we're familiar with. Uh, there we go, on the very right there, we've got our seeds, uh, 524 sitting around. Uh, we've got a little few bits and bobs of stuff, I'm not sure why, but anyway. Uh, and there we have our fertilizers. Oh, we didn't have very much of that. We've only added 10 to the store, but that's okay. Okay, well, with that very lucrative airport contract, which I wasn't intending to do, but anyway, I think I'm going to rehash this trailer into something slightly bigger, probably get a proper forklift. We've got the money, but that 26 should cover most of that expenditure. I think I'll keep this little attachment on the front, because I do 
quite like it. So, let's mosey onto the shop, get our new trailer. Uh, I think we'll probably sell this one, whilst it's a nice uh, type of trailer. It um, doesn't do a lot of stuff. But then trailers tend not to. So there we go, we've got a transport contract for today while we're seeding, that'll cover our costs. Um, but hopefully that's not going to take us all day, although that amount of money for a day's work would be quite nice. I'd love to know how to help that guy out, he's desperately trying to fix his van. But he has been there for a couple of days just cranking it and cranking it, so it might not be the most sensible uh, guy we've ever seen that John Owen's going to pull into there and clonk us. The traffic is nice, it moves along a lot quicker than it did in Felsbrunn there, but uh, it's a little, just a little less um, aware of what's going on. They will happily drive into you on this map for no reason at all. But hey, that's driving in the south of England for you. Don't get that sort of behaviour here on the Isle of Man. No, we do not. <coughs> In my defence, it was a one-off. It was very late. See, that guy just pulled out of there. Wasn't even looking. Still, those guys will be f plenty far behind us. Ah, a ray for coffee. Come on. You can get up here. It's a bit of a struggle. Huh? We can get some funds together. I may just need to... Uh, the old tractor engine, but uh, we'll do that where we can. I often get distracted in this tractor because there is no indicator. Um, <laughs> indicator. <laughs> it doesn't tell you when you've got them on, but it uh, doesn't matter. Right, I'm going to keep this little forklifty thing. I am. Because it's very useful and I like using it. But, for the time being, there is a great little Massey Ferguson loader I used quite a while in that off-camera period. There you go, let's get you. Because I don't think I need you anymore. Sorry, Lizard, I know you're very new, and I know you're a nice... Oops, excuse me. And I do know that you're a nice trailer. But I'm afraid you don't quite cut it for what I'm going to use it for now. So let's pop over here. We'll get our whoops. We'll get our little load up. We'll get its trailer and and we'll start now. For now, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave that here. Um, it seems fair. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Uh, just because it'll get in the way whilst we're driving. Okay, now, the trailer I would like is this one. Uh, it's a little bit longer um, than the Lizard we were using. Uh, it still has straps. It doesn't have any side panels on it or anything, but uh, that will do us for now. I think I'm going to leave it on a low hitch, uh, and where there is colour, I will be making them blue and pink, because, well, why not? Doesn't do too much to the trailer, just a few little flashes of colour for a few hundred quid. Why the heck not? Uh, and the skid steer I'd like here. Now, whilst you've got this amazing little machine, which is a little bit clunky, uh, but for six grand you couldn't go wrong. I like this little guy, though. He makes me kind of happy. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put a cover on, because, well, we don't really need it that much. Uh, you can have a big cover, or uh, even a forestry cover to stop stuff getting in. But I think we'll just leave it. What's going on here? Uh, as an open cab. Hey, it's UK. What can go wrong? Uh, on this, you have different wheels. You can track them or put some big flumpy wheels on. I like these little guys for now. Um, and I'll give it some nice black wheels to go rock and roll and orange colour, because I like orange. Uh, now, whilst that's taken it up to 27 grand, we did uh, quite nicely from our previous farm, so there we go. Uh, it has its own forks over here. There we go. I don't want the bale spear. There we go, which we can also make orange. Just 
to keep it all together. Uh, and I'm going to stick a weight on the back because otherwise it sometimes can't handle the heavier stuff that we may need it for in the future if we are so inclined. Uh, whilst we're here, I will grab the chicken feed and we'll order some chickens when we get back. Uh, I'm going to leave that here for now uh, because uh, we don't need it right away. Uh, let's, uh, let's go and put this out of the way. They don't mind us leaving it in this little parking space here, I'm sure. It was a great little tool, but for that, uh, that amount of money on a... Go. Lower the back of that down. And we can stick our guy on it and go for a drive. Um, given the way that this video started with a time lapse, I may just time lapse the journey over to wherever I'm going. I've moved up to the infinitely more sensible uh, 15. It was nice enough at 15 times time rate. So a little bit quicker than real time. Uh, it's a little bit more realistic and certainly in terms of moving a series along. Uh, real time is very nice but you can do an awful lot in a day which doesn't seem really uh, in tune with what we want to do. So, right, let's get you lowered down. There we go. Okay, so where did we need to head? We needed to head to the airport to pick stuff up which is only just over there. Probably won't bother time lapsing that bit. It's not worth anybody's time to drop in, drop out, and all of that stuff. Uh, we need to go to the guest house. I'm not entirely sure where that is, but we will get that checked out. Now, let's not take any corners too hard, or our uh, uh, tiny little skid steer will just fall off. That's the only problem with some of these trailers on console. I don't know if there is a mod uh, airport down here. I don't know if there's a mod on PC, it's still looking good, uh, which would mean you could strap vehicles down. Would be helpful on console, but probably not really possible given scripting and stuff. Okay. Did it fall off there? It did not. We see it in the mirror. How nice. Okay, I'm going to presume this is a suitcase delivery, which would make sense given that it's an airport. Let's slow it down. Let's make sure that's well out of the way. But it's quite like this one because you can see the floats. And given that it's suitcases, they may not stack. So let's see how that goes. That looks... I think if I get it right, they may stack. Yeah, I think that is around ground level. Let's see what we think. Mm -hmm. Just getting to know your equipment is not okay. There you go. Oh yes, there's uh, lots of lots going on here. I don't think loading these all together is going to be a great idea, but hopefully we can cut it down a little. Are you going to fall off there? Oh, you're not. How exciting. <laughs> Right, let's try and stay in cab, keep it realistic and all that stuff. This is probably not going to be the comfiest drive. I don't think I'm going to stack them three high while I'm trying to put them on a trailer. That seems to be asking for trouble. Now these will strap down on the trailer because they're on pallets, so that is quite a good... Whoa. Fall off there, buddy. We're nearly there now. Here we go. And now I do quite like these little these little loaders because you can see what you're doing. And if you're in a tractor, you can't really see where the forks are further on. I think. There we go. Whoops! Didn't quite disengage. Yeah, that should sit nicely. Uh, yes, you can't really see where the forks are going on the tractor, uh, but here you can see where you're picking up from, you can see where you're putting, visibility is good. Right tool for the job and all of that stuff. Controls sometimes a little bit 
tweaky and shaky, not as a result of the mod, just because I've got big fat thumbs if I was a real driver. I think you'd be calling it cab driver's foot. Good eye. That's going to fall off, isn't it? So I'm just going to quick look outside, see if we're lined up. We are not lined up, so let's do it properly. Dodged one there. Okay. Right, let's get those on the wagon. On the wagon. Right, that is enough nattering for now. I will time lapse this. We'll finish loading. Then we will head on over to uh, the guest house. I seem to remember. Oh, don't fall off, man! Don't fall off. Cool. Right, I'll see you at the guest house for unloading. Catch you in a bit. Uh, just a quick dive in to see that, um, as I was dropping off there at the guest house, uh, this little transporting job caught my eye, which is the transport company to the shop. Now, I'm going to the shop, and I realised I'm right by the transport company here. So it's going to be an easy 15 grand to pick up, drop off, I've got everything I need. Uh, just to save a bit of time for you guys, I'll do that off camera, and I'll see you at the shop. Ta-ta for now.